Greg Tavon here. And we're on the second string, the B string for the guitar. And uh, if you've watched my first video on the E string, um, I just want to reiterate quickly that I believe learning how to read music as a guitar player is one of the most important things uh, to do. I've had a lot of success reading music and uh, you never know when somebody's gonna put music in front of you or if you wanna just learn um, songs and there's no video for it, you always wanna have the talent and the skill of reading music. So I'm gonna get right into it. This is the second string on the guitar and standard tuning, uh, this would be a B on the second string. And so there's three notes on the second string of the guitar. The open string, which we indicate with a zero, is a B. And if we press our first finger, uh, just behind the first fret, we have a C. And third finger on the third fret is called the D. And as I've said in my other videos, the most important thing to remember is always to use the proper fingering uh, when you're in a position on the guitar. It will help you play faster, it will help you play accurately. And um, if you connect the name of the note with the fingering um, in certain positions, uh, it will definitely help you play uh, better and more accurately and I will explain that as we um, move all the way up the neck um, with the guitars. So on the sheet uh, that you're going to see um, we have three notes and the B note is on the middle line of the treble clef staff. So if you just put that into your memory, B is on the middle line and the C is on the third space and the D is on the fourth line second line from the top. So just get used to looking at the treble clef uh, staff and identifying the notes on the instrument. And uh, so let's try the first line of the music and it's B, C, and D. And once again, uh, just put your finger, your thumb just behind the neck of the guitar. Keep your fingers on the fingertips and we'll try the first line. One, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. First finger C, four and third finger D, two, three, four. Very good, so that just gets you used to the note. Sometimes as you're beginning, you might hear fret buzz, things like this. And that means one of two things, either your um, finger is on the fret and you're not pressing hard enough or it's just, um, it's gotta be on the tip and make sure you're not hitting other strings because later on we'll, we might want open strings to vibrate as you're playing. So make sure you get a nice sound on each one. This is the time to start and play very accurately. Some people have asked me before, if I go from C, can I keep my first finger down and play the D? You can do that, and there are some times when it's, uh, it, it's more advantageous to do that, uh, but not necessary right from the beginning, A. So as you go B, C, and D. Okay, second line, so at bar four, we're gonna, we're gonna do half notes, so two, beats for each note and again picking down so it will be like this one two three four B, B, C, C, D, D. so there's two notes uh, two beats between each of those notes on bar seven we have quarter notes and again all these notes are being picked down so in 4-4 four, four time, we have four beats in a bar, so we'll be having four quarter notes in a bar, and we'll play it like this. One, two, three, four. Again, the same three notes. We're gonna be down up picking. Remember on beat one, it's down. On the end beat, it's up. On beat two, it's down. On the end beat, it's up. On beat three, it's down. On the end beat, it's up. On beat four, it's down. And on the end beat, it's up. So we'll be playing like this. One, two, three, four. Beat one and two and three and four and. That's the tempo that we'll be doing, okay? So at bar 10, here we go, one, Two, three, four. C, D, C, D, C, D, D, D. Okay, so that one's a little bit mixing up uh, just the notes uh, back and forth. Line 13, 
We're gonna mix them up with just with quarter notes and we're gonna start to get one, two, three, four. slow it down, try a little bit slower, stop the video, practice it slower, and then try and get it up to tempo um, as I just played. Now, bar 19, just keep hanging with it. Now we're gonna mix up some of the other time values. So in uh, this line here at bar 19, we have half notes, two beats each, whole notes, four beats each, and quarter notes, which are one beat each. And this is how it sounds. One, two, three, four. Keep going with it. Bar 26, we have half notes, quarter notes, whole notes, and some eighth notes. And remember, when there's two eighth notes and a quarter note, we pick it down, up, down. Uh, and when there's four eighth notes, we pick down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's going to happen uh, at bar five and six. Here we go. Bar 26. One, two, three, four. video anytime and just go back and uh, play as you go through but it's really important can't stress this enough not just to play the notes correctly the B C and the D but to actually look at the music and when you see the note make that connection just like we're reading the alphabet um, we'll be able to play it and right now you're looking at the notes um, very carefully bar 33 one two three four exercise today is uh, bar 39 and bar 39 is mostly eighth notes so we'll be doing a lot of down up picking again down beat on the strong beat one two three or four and all the up beats are the and beats so here we go one two three four ready to do a song probably in the next video we'll do a song uh, so why don't we try it right from the beginning and play through the whole thing one two three four
Good job, everybody. Uh, hang in there, practice. Practice this one with the first one, E string and B string.